Good day, Libra viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning into Just Be Tarot. Thank you for your awesome energy. Thank you for joining me today, and thank you for clicking on subscribe, hitting that like button, and um, also the notification bell I'll let you know when I go live or post new readings. Today, I am doing a general love reading for the Libra Collective. That's right, this is a general reading for Romance for October 2022. Spirit, I am shuffling for the um, overall energy for the Libra Collective for October 2022 Romance. No. What are the mess? Thank you. What are the messages that the Libra Collective needs to know? For romance in October 2022. Okay, so first we have Soaring with Joy. Childlike wonder fills my life. Let's see what else we can. Thank you. Then we have Standing Firm. I am noble, brave, and strong. Revealing radiance. My light illuminates the world. So, I'm seeing that you are very, very much, your vibe is super high. Your energy is super high. Um, and I love how this card says, my light illuminates the world. And behind this person is this light that's illuminating this person. Um, so I, I'm getting that with this synchronicity that there's a vibrancy to you, a bright energy um, right now. You are um, really, really invested in this relationship. You are... Um, it's really something that's making you happy. It might be um, this person might have kids is what I'm saying. Or if this, this might be somebody that's coming to you. Um, or they're drawn to your radiance. Um, this person might have children. Uh, you might be called, I'm hearing, um, to... You might be somebody who works a lot. And you're calling being called to um, take some downtime and spend some time um, with the family or um, if they have uh, children to get to know them to um, so they can form a bond with you and um, I'm hearing that it's like this person is a rock for you Somebody that you can lean on. Um, but there, mm, for some of you, I'm getting red flags. Um, it's like they, I'm getting that you, it's one sided. For some of you, this isn't going to be for everyone. So if this isn't uh, you, then that doesn't mean that this isn't your reading. Um, again, this is a general reading. Um, so but for some of you, there's been some red flags popping up. You've been working way harder at the relationship than they have. Or vice versa. Um, and... You're being called to stand strong and live your truth. And if that truth is saying, I deserve better, then let that be your truth. And if your truth is just like, hey, we need to go to counseling, then propose that and let that be your truth. Whatever your truth is, you're asked to be brave and to communicate these, these things. But you are a radiant light or your person. 
and it's like people are drawn to them they're just it just seems like they're a magnet for good things coming their way right now all right so let's move on to the tarot and see what spirit has to say Maybe if you have children, you might have kids that they're trying to bond with or um, they might, oh, I'm getting, somebody's getting carried away like they're taking it too far and I just got the chills with that. That's not going to be for everyone though. Too many thank you okay so the first card that came out was the hermit oh and happy birthday libras i'm so sorry i forgot to wish you a happy libra season i know i said it in the the um the beginning of the month uh reading but you know who doesn't want to be wished to have a birthday uh then we had the seven of pentacles and the five of pentacles okay so this might be an earth sign that you're with virgo uh taurus capricorn that is your person or that is coming into your energy um i feel like you you are i'm hearing that you are taking a couple steps away like you are trying to focus on your spirituality more you're trying to ask spirit um for advice you're trying to listen for signs you are meditating more you are i'm, I'm hearing daily or you need to make it daily um to listen to and I, I, with the seven of pentacles you're planting seeds you are putting out there what you want into the universe um you are doing a lot of meditation a lot of healing um introspection i'm hearing you have a lot on your plate i also you're healing from something from something that hurt you you're looking for your people you're feeling left out sometimes you're looking for your people you might have had to cut people off recently and you are looking for like-minded people people who feel fill you with beautiful energy like i said either you're radiating or somebody around you is um is just a bright light you see them as a bright light or they see you as a bright light Here, can I have, thank you. Knight of Swords in reverse. So this might be somebody that you need to cut off. I'm also getting that somebody it might be looking at your social media um just trying to get an idea of what's going on in your life um not like creepily they're just like oh you know i wonder what uh libra's up to that could also be you looking at somebody else's social media so take that either way fear can we clarify the hermit for our libra collective
Thank you. Ten of Swords. In reverse. So it looks like this is a... You're stuck in a cycle or this cycle just keeps happening. Um, same thing over and over again. Um, you're feeling comfortable in this situation. That's why things aren't changing. Um, but something needs to change for you to move on to the next cycle. Oh boy. Um, but it's giving you a lot of anxiety even thinking about making these changes. But you're also in hermit mode. So these are things that you're working on. Or should be working on. Or you're being called to work on. I'm getting that you know that there needs to be changes. You know what you need to do. You're just having trouble doing it. So however that resonates. Um, but you had, there's something that's giving you anxiety. Or you might already have anxiety. Many of us do. Um, and you, it's something that you're trying to work through. But like I said, you're in hermit mode. So I feel like there's a lot of things that you're trying to work through. Um, and this is just one of them. How to maybe be less anxious. Um, but you're in hermit mode again, and that comes with meditation and introspection, and that's healing. That's calling yourself to be present. And when you're present, a lot of that anxiety and fear leaves because you're focusing on the here and now and not what the future is going to bring or not what the past had. Um, you're just focusing on your breath work, being here and now, the sense of where you are, um, whatever is around you, how you're feeling in that moment. Now we have the seven of swords and the queen of swords coming out together. So, um, there is a sneaky divine feminine in your energy. This person is, uh, Look, thiefing, <laughs> stealing shit, um, sneaky, sneaky divine feminine, cold, queen of swords is cold, um, very cold energy, being cold towards you, um, has a very bitter tongue, very harsh way of speaking, tone. Um, yeah, this is, this is, so be careful with that. If they're not in your energy now, they might be coming into your energy. So watch out for that. This might be what's giving you the anxiety. And I don't blame you because this is a, this pair together that came out together is nasty. That's nasty Nelson stuff. Ugh. That's a bitter, bitter person. And it could be a man or a woman. Gender isn't, you know, specific there. It's energy. There, what else? Can we clear the Seven of Pentacles? Okay, so what just came out was the Eight of Cups in the upright. So you're manifesting. Okay, with the Seven of Pentacles. You're waiting for the things that you've asked the universe for to come into fruition. Okay, 
So by doing that, you may be called to walk away from person, place, thing. Um, this might also give you a feeling of you need to level up. Um, this could give you a feeling of longing, like you're missing something, like your heart is, has a hole in it and you need to, oh my gosh, I just got that. <laughs> Who sang that? Extreme. There's a hole in my heart that can only be filled by you. Google it. I'm not extreme. There to sing. Oh my gosh. Google it. You'll see what I'm talking about. But yeah, you're, you're, there's something that you're longing for, something that you need. And you have to walk away from what is not serving you to get to where you need to be. To fulfill this longing you have. To fill that <laughs> hole in your heart. Um, and um, make yourself fulfilled. There, there is a lot of energy coming in for you. I don't know why I just... Oh, sorry, Spirit. I ignored that card and I feel like Spirit got pissed. This one, that's it. Okay, see the lovers. So there's some, there's some energy coming in. There's, you have an emotional connection with somebody. So there's somebody that you're manifesting that or have manifested that's coming into your life or they might already be in your life sorry about that i live near a firehouse that has never happened before when i've been filming i'm so sorry <laughs> i apologize for that I mean, I live right near a fire station, as you can tell. It's like old school. This, okay. Okay, so we have the Emperor in reverse. Five of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. This is somebody who is stuck in a cycle, like I said in the beginning. This is with this Ten of Wands in reverse. Whatever is going on right now, whoever you're with right now, it's the same cycle that you're constantly putting yourself in. I'm hearing you deserve better. There's a lot of chaos here. It's making you not feel like yourself. You've been off. So sorry for this noise. Um, but you are, there's a cycle you're stuck in. That you, and you need to move forward. But I really do feel like this is you trying to heal. Trying to heal the chaos. Trying to get through to the next cycle. But you, I'm getting, I'm hearing status quo. Like you're, you're just comfortable with things the way they are. The emperor in reverse. So while you're doing all this work, putting forth the effort, you're not putting into play the changes that you're you're being called to make.
I hope this isn't a sign from spirit that one of you is not okay. I hope everybody out there is okay. But I do live very close to a fire station. So please forgive the background noise. Too many. Here, can we clarify the Five of Pentacles for our Libra Collective? Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so you're looking for your, your tribe. You're looking for your people. I feel like whatever you're coming out of, there wasn't a lot of equal give and take. Um, you're coming together with, with somebody, though. Somebody is, is, you're coming together with somebody. I feel like you've been, you might have been disconnected for a little while, or you lost touch, or um, you haven't seen each other in a, in a little while, but somebody's going to be coming back into your life. You might have had travel plans, but they got canceled or, or you canceled them. Maybe you were going away for a long weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Well, okay. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles. So making a decision. This is a decision that you don't necessarily want to make. Because nothing is going to really benefit you in this decision. So you're like, is it better if I don't make a decision? Well, that's not an option. You have to make a decision. Neither of which is going to be a good one. Okay, then clarifying the Knight of Swords is the Death card in reverse. The Five of Cups. And the Temperance in reverse. So this is a second chance, a rebirth. So you might be giving somebody a second chance. Maybe they're giving you a second chance, but this is somebody who is actually paying attention to what is necessary to make the relationship work now. They've gotten their ducks in a row. They've been working on themselves, and now they're coming back to say, hey, remember that time? Um, but you also feel like Somehow this feels like manipulation. <laughs> you're not feeling totally comfortable with it. And you feel like it's not the universes. You're not universally brought together. This isn't a divine connection. So you are very apprehensive about giving this person a second chance. This is not a divine connection. You feel like it's manipulated. You know, they have been looking at your, your social media. They've been tracking you down. Um... You know, they're asking for a second chance here. Um, and you're like, you know what? I know that you didn't just run into me. <laughs> I know that you knew I was going to be here. And that's why you're here. Um, so you feel like there's a little bit of a manipulation that brought you together. And you're really, really feeling sketched out about it. 
Okay, let's see what the Soul Connection cards have to say. I feel like there's a lot of different messages in here. Um, so remember, if, if one of the messages isn't yours, it doesn't mean that it's not your reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, what do we have for our Libra Collective's greatest good? To conclude this reading for October 2022, this romance reading for this one. Thank you. Deeply. I love when they're on the same page as I am. Look deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your relationships. Exactly what the first card I pulled said. You're, you're going in and you're trying to make these hard decisions. You're trying to sort out how you're feeling. You're trying to figure out what is missing in yourself. What are you longing for? What do you still need to attain? I'm wishing you luck, Libra. Um, thank you for joining me. Thank you for your uh, awesome loyalty and staying till the end. Please click on subscribe, hit that like button and the notification bell. Uh, details on personal readings are below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time, Libras. Bye.